Hi, this is LaRosa Johnson with WordSearch Bible Software. I want to welcome you to another WordSearch video tutorial. Now, we're in the midst of our Hebrew Fridays, and last time we took a look at the Theological Word Book of the Old Testament. And that's a great resource, especially for people who are laymen and scholars alike, because it allows you to just dive in and get right into it. Now, today we're going to be look at, looking at a more technical book, but if you're doing any kind of Hebrew study, it's one that you definitely want to have as a resource, because for the longest time since it's been out, it's pretty much been the go-to standard. And this book is Brown Driver Briggs, Hebrew and English Lexicon. Now, the way this book is set up is basically in order based on the, the root words. So it's in Hebrew alphabetical order. And it goes in and gives you de definitions of all the words. And this is great, but for the non-technical person, this book can definitely be a little bit overwhelming. But the way it's set up in word search makes it really easy to get in and at least attempt to find what you're looking for. So the quickest way I can show you how to do this is to show you the, the demo page that we have built in this book that you can always access to quickly give, give yourself a refresher on how this book is set up. So just pull up the table of contents, which is this icon right here, and you go down here to BDB help. Click on that and what this does is it gives you a sample entry from the BDB lexicon and you can just hover over your mouse over any of the different sections and it'll give you an example and explanation of what you're looking at. So these are just little excerpts that we pulled from the BDB. Now the first thing you'll see is that there are Strong's numbers in here. So this is the Strong's number that's going to be associated with that entry. So for the word Devar, it's going to be Strong's number 1696. Now note that there are Strong's numbers in this book it's going to work just like any other book that is synced with Strong's. So let's say you have your interlinear open, you find a word like Elohim that you want to look up, you click on the Strong's number, it'll open up Strong's, and if you have BDB open, BDB will open up to that entry so that you can quickly get to your word study. So that's the first thing and most important thing about this book is that you don't really need to know where the words are in the book, you just need to know the Strong's number and that will quickly get you there. Now you see that this particular word is in brackets and so to find out what the brackets mean and you'll see that the brackets indicate that the form enclosed is not actually found or that the Hebrew word offers no positive proof that this is an actual Hebrew word but it's all the derivative words that are going to be underneath it are based off of this three letter root. So what's, what it's showing there is that this word that's in brackets does not actually appear in the Hebrew text as it stands, but it's based from their best guess. This is what other words are based off of. So what you have in inside the brackets, or even without the brackets, you have your Hebrew root word, and this is definitely going to be in a larger font. So you'll know that this is the root word that you're dealing with. Then any other word that's underneath that is going to be based off of that root word. So then you got this little number here right next to it and this is basically the approximate number of occurrences of that word in the Hebrew Old Testament. So from as best they can tell with the resources they had available at the time there are 1142 occurrences of the word Devar in the Old Testament. Then you get this section right here, and this is the part of speech. So it's noun and it's masculine, and then that's followed by the definition, so it's word. And then from there, you kind of go in and get your full definition. You'll, then you'll see some abbreviations, and these are reference to another author or a scholar, and there's a full abbreviation list right here to go in and find out what those abbreviations are and what the other works are. Then you'll see these words that are in italics, and those words are in a different font, and they are transliterations of foreign words. So instead of actually showing you the foreign word in its actual text, we just they just use transliterations. Then we have more abbreviations there, and then it kind of goes on. And then you'll see here that it talks about like Arabic and other languages, like Arabic, Ethiopic, and Aramaic all those words are inserted into the text using images just to give you a clearer picture of how the word should look instead of actually using one of those fonts to, to display it. 
and then you get here, you see the dagger, and what if you see the dagger, what that basically means is that every time that that word appears in the Bible, is that verse reference is listed in in the dictionary definition that it's giving you. So all occurrences are going to be found in the definition that you're reading. So then you'll see here, it starts talking about the stems or the verbal form. So here it's talking about the cow, then you get the number, like 41. So the word devar appears 41 times in the cow. And then you'll see the tense, such as the perfect, imperfect, etc. And that just kind of gives you a whole display of what you're looking for. And then the, the double asterisks you'll see are footnotes in BDB. You can click on those just like you do any other book. Now the one thing that you'll notice about BDB is that it also has uh, page numbers listed. So like here, page 182. Now the page number refers to the BDB hard copy where the entry is found. But note that it's going to be the last page on which that entry is found, not necessarily the first page. So you may have to flip back to get the first part of that entry. But at least that's the last page that it appears on. And then going down to the second definition, you'll see, again, the dagger indicates that all occurrences of the word are listed in the entry. Then you'll get these Roman numerals. And basically what this is saying is that the word has the same spelling but can have different definitions. So the word can be spelled exactly the same way, but it can be really two different words in Hebrew. It's just a quirk of the Hebrew language. And so you'll want to take note of that, and that's what those Roman numerals are for. So if you just happen to pull up something and it doesn't quite match up with what you're reading in the text, you may just want to search for one of the other definitions to see if it matches up. And then you'll have a Hebrew derivative, derivative word, and this is in a smaller font. And basically what a derivative word is, is it's a word that comes, that's based off the root word. In this case, it doesn't match up to this one. This is just an example, but let's say we had the word devar, it'd be a, a derivative word of devar underneath it. Then again, you got your part of speech, your definition, and, and so on. Now you'll also notice that there are some words that are in a maroon color, and these are glossary terms, and they're all related to the different manuscripts or Bible versions and you can hover over those to see what those particular ones are like this T is talking about the Targums so it's going to give you an example there and then you'll also see some superscripted text as well and that may follow abbreviation and these are just names a reference or another book that you may want to look into and again you can go back to the abbreviation list to find to find those so really that's a breakdown of how you can use the BDB for your studies. And let's just say we want to open up the interlinear, just to show you an example of how this can work. Open up our interlinear Bible to, let's say we just have it open up to Genesis 1.1 and we want to look up uh, Strong number 776, which is the word um, arts, or I mean, excuse me, Eretz. So then we see here it opens up Strong's and it's Strong 776. And then click over here to BDB and it takes us right to it. So then we can kind of go in and do our study. You see it's the word Earth and it's basically a derivative word or the root is not actually there. But then we can kind of go in and look at some of the definitions and see the entries and, and so on. So it works out rather well for doing your word studies. And again, it's pretty concise, kind of hard to read sometimes, but you'll learn to kind of skim through it with, with practice and pull out the pertinent information that you need. So that's BDB, and if you're doing any kind of Hebrew word studies, I definitely recommend having this alongside the TWOT, because using those together will definitely give you a well-rounded view of understanding the Hebrew text that's underlying your English translation and helping you have a full grasp of what you're studying and, and teaching. So until next time, peace and God bless.